Hey, Jimmy, what's up? Not much. Cool, very cool. I bet if you tried, you could grow the best beard of anyone in this office. <laughs> Thanks, Dwight. <Toy. laughs> that laugh is so infectious. It's creeping me out. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I didn't mean any of those things I just said. And you can expect the same thing from everyone in this office if you don't nip this whole employee of the month situation in the bud. Make it about the work. I guess you think you should get it. This encompasses all available data, hours, tardiness, unconfirmed sick days, participation. Everyone has been assigned a random number for total fairness and transparency. Also, this should be accompanied by a monetary prize. Well, in an ideal world. In an ideal world, I would have all 10 fingers on my left hand, so my right hand could just be a fist for punching. Okay, if it's all the same to you, I'm just gonna take away survival skills and self-defense. I'm gonna run this by Toby and accounting and have them assemble the data. That's okay, I'll do it. Hey, so Jim thought it would be ideal if we hey. all pitched in. So Jim thought it would be ideal if we all pitched in a 20 for this whole employee of the month thing. Jim said that? He thought you were doing an incredible job last month. Jim said that? You seem surprised. No, no, that makes total sense. Hey, buddy. So every... Five minutes ahead of schedule. Right on schedule. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I know you're all very excited, but no matter who gets this, I just want to say that you guys are all employees of the month in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is... Employee number nine, and that is? Number nine, number nine, Jim Halbert. What? Huh? What? You're Are you high. kidding? Oh, no. Wait, okay, so wait. I was not, I did not. I get, did not, that, that was not, how come not? Guys, listen, this was anonymous, all right? There's no way I could have given it to myself because I didn't even know who was on here, I just gave it to the employee with the highest overall score. To my tally, you just won back your own parking spot, a vacation day, and a nice tidy okay. quarter of a thousand dollars from all of us. Well, everybody just stop for a second, because obviously I'm not taking any of it. A mistake has been made, and we'll figure it out. Second of all, there was no cash prize. Yes! Dwight? Yeah, you said in an ideal world there would be a cash prize. Isn't that what you said? No, Dwight, I meant, yes, in a perfect world someone would get money, but yeah, not... In but in your perfect world, only you get money. Yeah. Look, there was a big mistake, obviously, so I will fix it, okay? This was your idea anyway. Correction. It was my idea. Okay. My idea. Guys, I'm starting to think Pam's not even pregnant. Okay. For the record, I am pregnant. And obviously there's been some kind of a mistake, so why doesn't Jim just pick the next highest score on the list and We'll move on. Yeah, okay. okay. That's fair. Fine. Excellent idea, Pam. Thank you. That would be employee number three, which is son of a bitch, Pam Halpert. What? what? How is that possible? No offense, Pam, but how the hell is that possible? There must be some reasonable explanation for this. Oh, wait, come on. I, I didn't miss a day, I came in early, I stayed late, and I doubled my sales last month. Oh, really? From what, two to four? Yep.